Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are going to be doing your Samhain spread for Halloween. Now in this message, we are going to tap into what you need to release through the next six months, what's going to be coming in, but most importantly, we are going to be tapping into any messages from our ancestors. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. If that's something that you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Now, please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general, meaning they're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, then there's going to be something in the message for you. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive right into Leo's energy for this upcoming Samhain reading. It's going to be six months ahead for you, three to six months. So let's tap in. Most important message here for Leo spirit. What do my Leo friends need to know? What do they need to see for this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Two of Swords, the strength with the Knight, Knight of Pentacles. So this is like you wanting to pursue something new, um, trying to build up the courage to do so, but you are up in your head overthinking, overanalyzing the outcome too much. Perceive here, Leo, within the next six months, there's going to be a change in career. Maybe focusing on your own business. What you're releasing through this energy, a five of cups. What's helping you shift this energy is the seven of swords. Message from your ancestors is the hanged man. How to enhance your gift is the Ten of Cups. Forecast for your love life. King and Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Leo. This is the advice. We'll pull that over at the end. So just to preface this video, Leo, this reading is about you changing your mindset when it comes to relationships and how that correlates with you not taking action in the advancement in your career, okay? How that holds you back from taking the next step. But you're releasing at this time the Five of Cups energy, and we're going to clarify as we go through. This is like looking back on the past with regret, with remorse, with resentment. How could a person hurt me? How could this happen to me? Where did this go wrong? In regards to a particular person. And it's also an energy of an action in relationships. So what that means and what that looks like is having your wall up under the pretense of not wanting to get hurt or not wanting to go through this again 
not wanting to go through the confusion, not long, wanting to go through the anxiety, the mistrust, the chaos. Okay. But I feel like you're starting to gain this perspective, this duality perspective. Not that you have a dual perspective. It's like you're being able to see that past situation from both sides of the coin. Maybe there was some information about this person that came out that not that it made their actions okay, but it made it easier to understand why they were acting the way that they were acting or why they were reacting the way that they were reacting. Okay. So I feel like there's this shift in perspective that's taking place. Okay. Seven of wands, two of pentacles, clarifying the seven of swords. And I don't feel like this shift has happened instantly. This is something that's gradually happened over the past year, maybe two years of a process that you've been going through internally with yourself. It's like you're not holding on to grudges anymore. You're not holding on to the negative connotations surrounding a relationship. And in doing so, it's kind of opening the doors, broadening your perspective, if you will. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised, Leo, if in the next three to six months, you meet some new people. But one person in particular is going to be a person who is going to bring in a lot of clarity when it comes to relationships. It's going to shed the veil if you will, okay, the moon in the reverse, help to complete the shift in perspective. You see, when we go through life and have relationship after relationship that isn't necessarily the greatest, it gives us this view of every opposite sex is bad. So every male or every female acts this way. What this reading is telling you, Leo, is there is about to be a person that's going to come into your life that's going to change that completely. I'm going to flip it on its head. Because this person doesn't align with that perspective. This person is going to be more loving. They're going to be more open. They're going to be more caring, accepting. And in them doing that, it's allowing you the space to heal. It's allowing you the space to be you. Now, the forecast for your love life, Leo, and I honestly feel like this is going to be far out there. A lot of you are going to think that this is not resonating for you because you're in this place of I don't want a relationship. But over the next three to six months, Mark my words, something is going to transpire where that ch changes, that perspective shifts, okay? Let's be honest. We don't want to be alone. We don't want to grow old and be alone forever. And so in, in that, we want some sort of companion, whether it be a uh, marriage Maybe this is a lifelong partnership. Maybe this is like a best friend. However, this is aligning for you, Leo. This person in your soul is connected. The message from your ancestors here, Leo, is very clear. It's time to allow this change, the shift in perspective. Just let it go. Let it flow. We know nothing. Everything that we've been taught has some form of deception in it. I honestly, personally, try to go into new relationships, new experiences with the perspective of, I know nothing. I know nothing about this person. I know nothing about how they were in relationships. And I don't know the experiences they had to bring them to that situation. 
So what am I meant to learn from this? So let's pull over the advice guidance moving forward for you, Leo. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story can help another person. Leo, the Fool, the Two of Cups, the Ten of Wands. Okay. So, the new beginnings, new experiences, new blessings that are coming in are going to be in love. And part of you is going to want to resist. It's a fear-based reaction. You have free will. You can do what it is. What path you can choose which path you want to proceed i challenge you to push through the fear and be open to this new experience your soul journey message coming out for your reading here leo is judgment I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. We are all spirit. We are all the same. It's only the roles we've chosen to play here on earth that make us seem different. The biggest lesson you've chosen to learn is to love. There are so many situations in the physical dimension that it's possible to incarnate into. But the core lesson is to look past these illusions and to see yourself in everyone. Each soul has chosen its own struggles, and your task is not to judge how someone goes about overcoming these obstacles, but to assist that soul. Spirit has given you the tools of compassion and empathy to help you to see through the eyes of those who appear different. Your ego has taught you that making other people feel insignificant or inferior will allow you to feel better. That's an illusion. By diminishing others, you diminish yourself. Always learn to follow the golden rule. I'll treat others as I would like to be treated. Everyone in your life is here to teach you something about yourself. Accept the lesson with love and understanding. Beautiful, beautiful beautiful. Leo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this energy. Being open to new experiences is okay. One way that helped me to push through the fear when I was experiencing the same energy was just looking at it as like, this is friends. Like We're going to have a friendship and see where it goes from there. It helps it to not be so intense or to not look at it as like, oh, this is my forever person. But it also helps you to be open to new experiences. So it's up to you. The ball is in your court. I will say within the next three to six months, there are going to be some new experiences that are going to enter into your life. And you're going to have a decision to make on whether you allow this person to stay around for a while or you take space. So use your discernment and choose wisely. Leo. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. I hope the message was helpful for you. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. So just wanted to come on and talk a little bit about what's new and exciting for our tribe and here on the channel. So on Tuesdays, I'm going live at 1 p.m. Most Tuesdays that I don't have an event that weekend, only because I'm usually preparing for an event. Also for events to connect in person, check out Facebook. That's where I can share the actual event page for you to go check out each individual event. 
If you're interested in the newsletter, the monthly newsletter comes out the third week of the month. So if that's something that you're interested in, you sign up over on the website. On the link tree, I have all the links on how to connect with me, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, I also have Teespring, the website. Also keep in mind guys, through the website is the only way to book a personal reading. If you reach out to me um, and message me personally, that's fine, but I'm always going to refer you back to the website because that has my schedule. It has a calendar where you get to select the day and the time where your reading will be done. Please just give me a little bit of grace when doing these events also, guys. It can take a lot out of me to have to prepare and also to set up and to interact, whether it be a day or a two-day event. So just give me a little bit of grace the weeks that I have the events going on. I promise I didn't forget about you guys. I promise I will be back um, and I will be live again soon. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. You guys are all amazing and I look forward to connecting again soon. Namaste.